When hybrids first came out, it was all doom and gloom. 240 volts that could probably electrocute you. But the reality of it is, is these vehicles, well, they require service. And you do not need to be afraid of the hybrid electrical system. Because typically, on most vehicles, it's completely isolated from the 12-volt system. So think about it this way. With a hybrid, you've got a 12-volt system, and then you've got the hybrid system that may have up to 300 volts in it. These two systems are completely separated. But the 12 volt system typically powers the modules that govern the hybrid control modules on the vehicle. So in other words, if you're able to disable the 12 volt battery on the vehicle, typically you're gonna disable the hybrid system. Question that comes up a lot, can you jumpstart a hybrid vehicle from a conventional vehicle? Yes, you can and you may have to. You may even have to use a jumper pack on a hybrid vehicle to bring it into the shop. Make sure you're following the correct procedures. And keep this in mind, that hybrid system, it's completely isolated from the 12 volt system. So it's almost impossible for that 12 volts from the jump starting vehicle to make it into the hybrid system on the other vehicle and cause damage. Likewise, the hybrid system can't get into the 12 volt system and cause damage to the other vehicle. Just keep this in mind if you have to jump start another vehicle or use a jump pack on a hybrid vehicle. Another question that comes up a lot, can you replace the brake pads on a hybrid vehicle? Yes, you can. Some hybrid vehicles require special procedures to disarm the regenerative braking system. But for the most part, most vehicles, there's no special procedure to disarm the hybrid system. Hyundai in particular, you don't have to worry about a thing. Toyota, in some cases, you're going to have to turn off the regenerative braking system. But with both these systems, it's always a good idea to take that smart key and remove it from the vehicle to make sure that that key does not activate any system on the vehicle while it's on the lift. Another question I get a lot, well, do hybrids require special fluids? Yes, they do, but only for certain systems because the conductivity of the high voltage system may make its way through the fluid into the rest of the vehicle. For instance, the inverter, while well, that uses a special type of coolant to cool itself, there may be a requirement for the coolant that it's non-conductive. The same may be true for the transmission fluid, but typically for motor oil, there is no requirement for a hybrid vehicle. So don't be afraid of hybrids. When one comes to your shop, treat it like any other vehicle, but make sure that you're looking at the service procedures and you're taking care to avoid those orange lines that typically indicate high voltage, and you should really stay away from those if you're servicing a vehicle. But if you're doing normal maintenance and repairs, you don't even have to come near those. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.